Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this little poncho with hood for a little girl between three and five years old. It's very easy to make. I used a light number three baby yarn with a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Um, you can also make it a bit bigger for a little girl between six and eight years old. All you have to do is just use medium number four yarn with a five millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so I hope you like it and without further say, let's get started. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this super soft baby four ply by James Seabrett. This is the brand right there. Um, it's uh, four ply, so it's the equivalent to light number three baby yarn. Um, I'm going to use uh, this color uh, peach and then this cream white. I'll leave the link down here in the information box to where you can purchase this yarn along with the hooks that I use. Okay, so to begin, I have 91 chains. This chain here measures 20 inches, which is about 51 centimeters. The first thing that we're going to do is make sure that our chain is not twisted because we're going to join to the first chain. So I'm going to do this until I come to the last chain. Right here. Okay, so you just insert your hook. This is the front of the chain right there and make a slip stitch. And now we're joined and our chain is not twisted. Okay, so here, to begin, I'm going to chain one and into the next chain, this one here, I'm going to make a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, three loops, close. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, grab a loop, three loops, close. Into the next chain, same thing, one half double crochet. This is all we're going to do for this first row. We're only going to make half double crochets on each one of these chains, just like this. Okay, so continue like this all around. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row and I have a total of 90 half double crochets. I forgot to mention that uh, the stitch multiple is three plus one for our base chain. Okay, so make sure um, you do that if you want to add more fans. Okay, so now here to finish this row, I'm just going to insert my hook here to the side where I have the chain and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this first row with a total of 90 half double crochets. Now for the second row, I'm going to chain two and I'm going to flip this over like this. Now I'm going to insert my hook into the first chain right here and I'm going to make a slip stitch. Okay, so now what I'm going to do next for the second row is I'm going to chain one. These half double crochets that we have here in this second row, we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets. So beginning into this first one, I'm going to make a front post half double crochet. The next one is a back post half double crochet. Next one, front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet. This is all we're going to do for this second row. We're going to alternate between a front post and a back post half double crochet all around. I'll meet you here at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 90 half double crochets. To finish this row, I'm going to insert my hook here where I have this chain and I'm going to make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this second row. Now for the third row, we're going to chain one and we're going to do the exact same thing we did on the second row. We're going to repeat here in this third row. So this first stitch here is a front post half double crochet. So we're going to make a front post half double crochet. The next one is a back post half double crochet. Next one, front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet. This is all we're going to do. We're just going to alternate between a front post and a back post half double crochet all around. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I'm here at the end of the third row. I've cut my yarn already and to finish that third row, I just joined here to the beginning where I have that chain and made a slip stitch right there. And I just cut my yarn and passed it through that last stitch. Okay, and this is what it looks like so far. Okay, now we're going to flip this over like this. Okay, so we're going to work a single crochet row all around here. Now I'm going to insert my hook here. This is where we joined to make our circle in the first row. So right there, that's where you're going to insert your hook. Okay, and now I have this loop ready in this new color. This is that uh, pink color. And I'm going to grab this loop and bring it through the front like this. And now I'm going to chain one into the same stitch here where I just did this uh, chain one, I'm going to make a single crochet. Now in this row, all we're going to do are single crochets all around and we're going to make them between each stitch. And we're going to make sure that these single crochets are nice and loose. So make sure that you do the same. So insert your hook into the next stitch and then between the next two, a single crochet, between the next two, a single crochet, and between the next two, a single crochet. This is all we're going to do all around, so make sure in this row that these single crochets are not too tight. Okay, so make sure they're nice and loose. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. Up to here, I have a total of 90 single crochets. Um, now, I still have this gap here, so I'm going to make a single crochet also here at the end. So in total, I have 91 single crochets for this first row. I forgot to mention that we're going to start counting rows, so this is going to be our first row here. Now, to finish this first row, I'm just going to go to the top of the first single crochet and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this first row with a total of 91 single crochets. Now, for the second row, we're going to chain three and into the same stitch here where I just did my slip stitch, I'm going to make a double crochet. Chain one, two double crochets. For this second row, all we're going to do are these fans of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, separated by two single crochets, okay? And here's the first fan. Now, for the second fan, we're going to skip one, two, and into the third single crochet, you're going to make one more fan. So two double crochets, one, two, chain one, two double crochets. skip two single crochets and into the third one more fan this is all we're going to do for this second row so continue like this all around i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of this second row i have a total of 30 fans now here in this last space here we have three single crochets instead of two it's no problem all we're going to do here is just join here uh, to the beginning so between the double crochet and the uh, three chains i'm going to make a slip stitch and this is how i finish this second row with a total of 30 fans now for the third row we're going to chain one and turn in this row what we're going to do is front post double crochets Inside the chain one space, we're going to make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then this last double crochet of this fan, we're going to work a front post double crochet. So let me show you. This first double crochet, we're going to make a front post double crochet. Inside the chain one space, you're going to make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and this last double crochet, we're going to work into a front post double crochet. Let me show you again. We have the next fan. So the first double crochet, we're going to make a front post double crochet. Inside the chain one space, make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. This last double crochet, make a front post double crochet again. And this is how we're going to work each one of the fans. So continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this third row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. To finish here, I'm just going to insert my hook here where I did this chain and make a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this third row. Now for the fourth row, we're going to turn and we're going to make three slip stitches. One, two, and three. In this row, we're going to repeat the second row where we do fans inside each one of these chain one spaces. So 
and on top of the first double crochet I'm going to make a slip stitch on top of the second a slip stitch and inside the chain one space a slip stitch now I'm going to chain three double crochet inside this chain one space chain one two double crochets okay and here's the first fan to this fourth row now to make your next fan you're going to jump to the next chain one space and do the same thing two double crochets one two chain one two double crochets okay this is all we're going to do all around so continue like this making these fans I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this fourth row and again I have a total of 30 fans now to finish I'm going to insert my hook here between the double crochet and the three chains and make a slip stitch and this is how I finish this fourth row now for the fifth row we're going to repeat the same thing we did here in this third row so to do that chain one and turn this first double crochet on this first fan we're going to work into a front post double crochet inside the chain one space a double crochet chain one double crochet this last double crochet of this fan make a front post double crochet okay to make the, your next fan same thing the first double crochet we're going to work into a front post double crochet inside the chain one space make a double crochet chain one double crochet and this last double crochet work into a front post double crochet this is all we're going to do all around so I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this fifth row to finish I'm just going to insert my hook here where I have this chain and make a slip stitch and this is how we finish this fifth row now for rows six and seven you're going to repeat these last two rows that we did so for the sixth row you're going to turn and we're going to make three slip stitches the first one is on top of the double crochet on top of the second double crochet and inside the chain one space now chain three one two three inside the same stitch here we're going to make a double crochet chain one double crochet double crochet this row is super easy because all we do are these fans so jump to the next chain one space of the next fan and make your next fan so double crochet double crochet chain one two double crochets continue like this all around for this sixth row when you come here to the end you're going to have again a total of 30 fans you're going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch and then repeat this row where we do the front post double crochets I'll meet you at the end of the seventh row to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this seventh row to finish I'm just going to go into this chain here and make a slip stitch and this is how I finish this seventh row now we're going to repeat again these two rows so for rows eight and nine we're going to do the same thing so for row eight I'm going to do the row where we do the fan so I'm going to turn and I'm going to make these three slip stitches so one two and then inside three chain three double crochet chain one two double crochets okay then jump to the next chain one space and make your next fan so continue like this for your eighth row just making these fans when you're done you're going to come here to the end and between the double crochet and the three chains you're going to make a slip stitch and then you're going to repeat the row where we do the front post um, double crochets so you're going to chain one and then turn okay so repeat these two rows I'll meet you at the end of the ninth row to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this ninth row to finish I'm just going to go here where I have this chain at the beginning and make a slip stitch and this is how I finish this ninth row with a total of 30 fans now for the tenth row we're going to turn and we're going to make these three slip stitches that we always make here at the beginning one two and three now chain three one double crochet inside this chain one space two chains two double crochets in this row these fans 
are going to consist of two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Okay, so now again, jump to the next chain one space and make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. This is all we're going to do for this row all around, so continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this 10th row. I finished making my last fan, and here what I did was I joined here to the beginning right between the double crochet and the three chains with a slip stitch. I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop. Now, without turning our work, I'm going to go inside this uh, chain two space of this first fan and then grab a loop in this color um, off white and then chain three. Now, if you don't want to change colors, all you have to do is just make three slip stitches until you come here to the middle of this fan here. Okay, so now I have three chains and I'm going to make five more double crochets. The three chains counts as one double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, and five, including the three chains, I have six double crochets. Now jump to the next fan and do the same thing. You're going to make six double crochets. That's two, three, four, five, six. Jump to the next fan and do the same thing. This is all we're going to do for this 11th row, so continue like this all around. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this 11th row. To finish, I'm just going to make a slip stitch here between the double crochet and the three chains. And this is how I finish this 11th row. Now for the 12th row, we're going to chain four. The first three chains count as one double crochet and the fourth chain is just a space chain. Now, between each double crochet, we're going to make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, and this is how we're going to work each one of the fans, and we have one, two, three, four, five double crochets. Now for the next fan, you're not going to chain one here, but just go between the first space here between the two double crochets and make a double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. This is all we're going to do all around, so continue like this. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this 12th row. To finish, I'm just going to insert my hook here between the double crochet and this, these chains and make a slip stitch. Now, for the 13th row, we're going to chain one and make a single crochet into the same stitch here, into the same space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain one space. Now between each fan, chain two, and then jump to the first chain one space of this next fan, and then continue along in the same way. Three chains, single crochet. Three chains, single crochet, in each one of the chain one spaces. So continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row, and what I did here was I did my last two chains here, then I did a slip stitch into this single crochet that we had at the beginning. Then I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop, and this part here is done. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to make V-stitches uh, between each of these fans right here and right here, between right here in the middle where we have these six double crochets right there, right in the middle. Okay, so let me show you this. So with the color pink, I'm going to turn this over like this a little and insert my hook right there. Grab this loop in this color pink, bring it to the front and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. 
the first three chains count as one double crochet and then the next two chains are space um, chains and then into the same stitch here I'm going to make a double crochet so here's my V stitch the first V stitch to this first row we're going to start counting rows again so this is the first row and then we have this fan here so right in the middle we're going to split this fan so three on one side and three on the other and right in the middle I'm going to make my next V stitch a double crochet two chains double crochet okay and that's our V stitch and then again between the fans right in the middle you're going to do your next V stitch double crochet two chains double crochet and then we have the fan so between each fan and then right in the middle you're going to do your V stitches so here we're going to divide this fan so three and three and then make a double crochet two chains double crochet now this is all we're going to do for this first row this is what it looks like so continue like this all around I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this first row I have a total of 60 V stitches now to finish here I'm going to pinch the third chain and make a slip stitch and this is how I finish this first row now for the second row I'm going to go back into this chain two space and make a slip stitch again now I'm going to chain three inside the same stitch here I'm going to make a double crochet chain one two double crochets and here's the first fan to this second row now we're going to do the same thing inside the next V stitch so double crochet double crochet chain one two double crochets okay inside the next V stitch same thing two double crochets chain one two double crochets this is all we're going to do for this second row so continue like this I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this second row and again I have a total of 60 fans now to finish this row I'm going to go here between the double crochet and the three chains and make a slip stitch. and this is how I finish this second row now from here on we're going to repeat these two rows the row where we do the fans and then the row where we do the front post half um, front post double crochets okay so for the third row we're going to chain one and turn in this row this is where we do the front post double crochets so here we have the first fan this first double crochet we're going to make a front post double crochet inside the chain one space you're going to make a double crochet chain one double crochet and this last double crochet again a front post double crochet okay so let me show you again the first double crochet front post double crochet inside the chain one space double crochet chain one double crochet and this last double crochet again a front post double crochet this is all we're going to do for this third row so continue like this I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this third row to finish I'm just going to go here where I have this chain and make a slip stitch and this is how I finish this third row now from here on you're going to repeat these two rows row one and two okay so to do the next row the next row is where we do the fans only so to do that you're going to turn you don't chain here you chain on the next row but you just turn do not chain and you're going to make three slip stitches a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet slip stitch on top of the second and and a slip stitch inside the chain one space now you're going to chain three double crochet inside the same stitch here chain one two double crochets one two okay and here's the first fan to this fourth row now again jump to the next chain one space and make two double crochets chain one two double crochets and this is all we're going to do all around so continue like this 
At the end, you're just going to insert your hook here between the double crochet and the chain three and make a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain one and turn and repeat this last row that we did where we do the front post double crochets. Okay, so continue like this, repeating these two rows so that in total we have eight rows, just like we have here. See, we have two, four, six, eight. So we're going to do the same eight rows. So I'll meet you at the end of that row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 24th row instead of the eighth row. I decided to continue on and make more rows. So let me count for you the number of rows that I did. So we have the V-stitch row right here, and then I did two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 rows, and then I'm on the 23rd row here of um, fan rows. This is where we do the fan of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So in total, counting this V-stitch row, I have 24 rows. As it is, it fits about um, a child between three and five years old. If you want to continue and make this part longer, you can. Um, I'm just going to stop as it is. Right now, it's measuring. Let me measure it for you. It's measuring about 15 inches, which is about 38 centimeters. And again, if you want to make it longer, you can. So now what I'm going to do here is, I've finished this row where we do the fan rows. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to chain one, and into the same space I did my slip stitch, I'm going to make a single crochet. Then I'm going to chain three, and inside this chain one space of this fan, I'm going to make a single crochet. Then again, chain three, and back again into the same chain one space, I'm going to make a single crochet. Again, chain three, a single crochet between this fan and this fan, right in the middle, right there. This is just a decorative row that we're going to do, and then again, chain three, inside the chain one space make a single crochet chain three inside this chain one space make a single crochet and then chain three again this is all we're going to do all around just like this so continue like this i'll meet you here at the end this is what it looks like continue like this i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end here. I just chained three and then I joined here to the beginning where I have the chain with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and then just pass my yarn through that last loop. So this row here is done. Now we're going to make one more row, so we're going to turn this over. This is the wrong side now. So I'm going to grab this loop here with this color um, white, which is the same color that I used to make um, these fans here. So this last row we're going to work in the same color here. So this is where we finish. So now I'm just going to insert my hook here right in the middle between this fan and this fan, right in the very middle right here. Grab this loop. And I forgot to tell you, we're going to use a four millimeter crochet hook instead of this 3.5 that we were using. So it's slightly bigger. So bring it through the front, chain one. Now we're going to jump to this fan here and right in the middle right here, we're going to open this here because we're going to make a fan. So yarn over and make two double crochets. One, two, two chains, two double crochets. One, two. Jump to the next fan, same thing. Open this fan here and right in the middle, you're going to do the same thing. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, one more time, jump to the next fan, open this here like this, and make your two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. This is all we're going to do for this row, so continue like this all around. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I made my last fan. So now here I have this chain one space. So I'm going to insert my hook here into the space, but also making sure that I go through this um, other row, the row in the color pink. And I'm going to grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Now I'm going to change 
hooks so I'm going to go back to this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook chain one and into the same stitch here the same space I'm going to make a single crochet now I'm going to chain three and I'm going to insert my hook here where I have the two chains of this fan and back here where I have the three chains um, into this back fan so and now I'm going to make a single crochet chain three into the same stitch here one more single crochet one more time chain three a single crochet between this fan and this fan so this row of fans that we just finished not in the back in the back we're not going to grab that so we're just going to make a single crochet chain three insert my hook here through the chain two space and also here at the top of this next fan the chain three and make a single crochet chain three single crochet back again chain three single crochet between this fan and this fan the white fans and make a single crochet and then from here on we're just going to repeat the same thing insert my hook here and in the back make a single crochet chain three single crochet chain three single crochet between the these two fans and this is all we're going to do now this is what it looks like from the back and this is what it looks like from the front like that okay so continue like this i'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this last row okay i'm here at the end all i did here was i did my last chain three and then i did a slip stitch onto the first single crochet that we did here at the beginning and then pass my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done and this is what it looks like very pretty border okay there it is now what we're going to do is um as it is it's finished if you want to do the next um thing that we're going to do it's optional i'm just going to add a little hood so what I did is I put a stitch marker here where we started. This is the back side, okay? So I put a stitch marker. Um, I have a total of 90 half double crochets all around this collar. So if you take half of 90, you get 45. So I counted 45 stitches and then I put a stitch marker on the 45th uh, half double crochet. And then what I did is I counted um, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 stitches on this side and then I put a stitch marker and then I counted 14 stitches on this side and then I put a stitch marker. Now, between this stitch marker and this stitch marker, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fans. If that's gonna help you in any way, that's how many fans are between here, okay? So now we're going to turn this over like this and with the same color pink or peach our main color what I'm going to do is I have a loop here ready and then on this side we have our stitch marker um, the fans that we're going to work we're going to work into this row here right here along the, the collar okay um, so I'm going to now insert my hook here into this fan right on top you see the little stitch right there this is where we did the fan right on top right there I'm going to grab this loop bring it through the front end chain three one two three now jump to this next fan and if you open you see the little hole there right there so right on top right there insert your hook and that is where we're going to make two double crochets chain one two double crochets so we're pretty much going to be doing our fans on top of the fans below see right there so jump to the next fan and same thing see the stitch up there right here that's where you're going to insert your hook and make your next fan. So two double crochets, 
chain one, two double crochets. Okay, turn this over like this, jump to the next fan, this one here, and right on top. Right there, insert your hook and make your next fan. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now this is all we're going to do all around. So continue like this. I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I'm here at the end. Up to here I have a total of 21 fans. Now I have the next stitch marker, so into the next fan, this one here, I'm going to make a double crochet. And this is how we're going to finish this first row. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to go back and do the same thing. So chain three, turn and inside each one of these fans we're going to do the same thing two double crochets chain one two double crochets jump to the next fan and do the same thing two double crochets chain one two double crochets Continue like this all around. I'll meet you here on this other side, right here to show you how we're going to finish the second row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the second row. To finish, I'm just going to pinch here this second chain. You can either pin pinch the second or the last chain or the third chain actually, and make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the second row. Now for the third row, you're going to chain three and turn. So now here we're going to begin our pattern stitch um, or the second row to our pattern stitch. So we have the first double crochet into this first double crochet. We're going to work a front post double crochet. Inside the chain one, make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and into the last double crochet of the fan, make a front post double crochet again. One more time. We have the next fan, the first double crochet make into a front post double crochet. Inside the chain one space make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And this last double crochet of this fan make a front post double crochet. This is all we're going to do all around, so continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end to finish here. I'm just going to pinch the second chain. I think that if you pin pinch on the second chain, it looks better rather than pinching the first chain. So this is what I'm going to do. So here's what it looks like when you do that. It has a little space here and I think it looks a lot better. Okay, so now for the fourth row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now we're going to repeat the third and fourth row from here on. So for the fourth row, inside each one of these chain one spaces of each fan, you're going to make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Jump to the next fan and do the same thing. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue like this all the way to the other side. I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to finish this fourth row and then show you uh, quickly the, um, again, the third row, which is um, the two rows that you're going to repeat from here on. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row. To finish, I'm just going to pinch here this second chain and make a double crochet here at the end. And this is how I finished the fourth row. Now for the fifth row, we're going to repeat the third row. So you're just going to repeat the fourth and the third row all throughout. So the fan row and then the front post double crochet row, this third row. Now for the fifth row, you're going to chain three and turn. In the third row, what we did is we have the first fan and this first double crochet we worked into a front post double crochet inside the chain one space we made a double crochet chain one double crochet and then this last double crochet of this fan we're going to make a front post double crochet once again we're going to do the same thing on the next fan so this first double crochet make a front post double crochet inside the chain one space make a double crochet chain one double crochet 
and this last double crochet make a front post double crochet. This is all we're going to do. You're going to repeat these two rows. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but I'll let you know here how many rows. So continue like this, repeating the two rows. So I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I did a total of 25 rows. So counting this first row that we did here all the way up to this last one, we have 25 rows. So now what we're going to do is we're going to close the top. So here, uh, this is going to be the hood, just like this, the right side of the hood. So now we're going to turn these like this so that we can close um, this top here. Now, if you're making this um, cape a bit bigger and you wanna make your hood um, larger, you can just continue making more rows. Okay, so now here, I'm going to insert my hook here. This is the chain here at the end. Insert your hook here into the last chain. Bring this loop through the front like this and chain one. Okay, so now we're going to go into this double crochet and then into the double crochet in the back since it's exactly the same fan. So we're just going to grab a stitch on this side and a stitch in the back and make a slip stitch. So let me show you. So the next stitch here is a double crochet. So insert your hook there and then find your next double crochet here and grab a loop and make a slip stitch. You can also make single crochets, it's up to you. I'm just going to make these um, slip stitches. Okay, now I go into the next double crochet. Find your next double crochet. This one here, grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Now I'll go inside the chain one space, inside the chain one space of the fan back here, grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Now into these next two double crochets, the same thing. Insert your hook here and into the back, grab a loop, slip stitch. Again into the next, into the next, grab a loop and slip stitch. Now this is all we're going to do until we close this part here. So continue like this. I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. All I did here was I did my last stitch and then I just cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last um, slip stitch. And so this part here is done and closed. So when we turn it over, this is what it looks like. Okay, and there it is. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to work half double crochets all around so that it kind of sort of looks like this. So beginning here on this side, this is on the right side. I'm going to insert my hook here to the side and then I have this loop here in this color, off-white, bring it through the front and chain one. Now what I'm going to do is we have double crochets, chain three, double crochets, chain three. Now I was pinching the second chain when I was doing my rows here. If you were pinching the third chain, then perhaps your chain here is going to be longer. For me, since I was pinching the second chain, it's not that long, so what I'm going to do is where I have a double crochet, I'm going to make three half double crochets. So one, two, three. And where I have the chains here, since, um, like I said, I have two, so it's kind of short, I'm going to make two half double crochets. Now for you, if you seem, if it looks like it's um, long like the double crochet, then do three half double crochets. Oops, I did three here, it's supposed to be two. And then I have the, the double crochet, so I'm going to make three half double crochets. The next one is two. The next one is three. This is all I'm going to do all around, so continue like this until you come here to this other end. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at this other end, so now to finish, I'm just going to pinch here this, this stitch like this and make a slip stitch. Now I'm going to chain one and we're going to turn. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to work front post half double crochets, a back post half double crochet, a front post half double crochet, and back post half double crochet. So we're just going to alternate. So this first one we're going to work into a front post half double crochet, 
the next one back post half double crochet now if it's easier for you you can just leave it as it is I think it looks pretty nice it looks better than without a border so you can just leave it like that or you can just come back and do one more row of half double crochets I know some people um, haven't mastered this front post and back post half double crochet stitch so um, if it's easier just do it that way okay so a back post and then a front post half double crochet back post front post half double crochet continue like this all around I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this second row so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slip stitch into this stitch right here right there and I'm going to insert my hook and make a slip stitch now once again I'm going to make another slip stitch into the next stitch so we have the stitch here so into this stitch here right there I'm going to make another slip stitch okay and then I'm going to chain one and turn so now from here on I'm just going to make the same thing we did on the second row this first stitch here is a back post stitch so we're going to make a back post half double crochet the next one is a front post half double crochet the next one a back post half double crochet next one front post half double crochet this is all I'm going to do all the way to the other end right here so continue like this I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next okay I finished here at the end all I did here is make a slip stitch into this next stitch um, this is where we did the second um, row right here and then we did a slip stitch so into the next stitch that's where I did a slip stitch I cut my yarn and then it just passed my yarn through that last loop so this part here is done also I did a chain of 140 chains using a double strand just like this in this color pink and then I just weaved it into this row um, here around the neckline and then at the end I just added these um, two little pompons I've already have a tutorial so I'll leave the link down here in the information box of how I make my little pompons um, but if you know how to do them any other way um, you can just do that and then I just attached it here um, where I tied it so they're just um, it's just a knot there and then I also added one here in the very top of, of the hood okay and our baby cape is done and this is what it looks like or our little poncho um, is all done Okay, at the end of this video, I'll leave you some pictures so that you can see what it looks like. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Until next time.